Pokemon Generation 3. It's the black sheep of the series, but in my opinion, it's just the most underrated one. Sure, there are some things that Ruby and Sapphire didn't do so well, but all of those issues are mostly gone with Emerald. And now you get to behold, for the first time in a Slowflake Pokemon LP, the superior graphics of the Game Boy Advance. After two generations of no Game Boy and Game Boy Color graphics, it's time for a significant upgrade. Whoop, and that torch shape fell flat on its face. You know, just like the shy guy in Paper Mario, you know which one I'm talking about. And we get a glimpse of things to come, the rivalry between Kyogre and Groudon, and of course Rayquaza, which is supposed to be the savior in all of this. Pokemon Emerald, let us begin by changing the text speed. Not the most thrilling place in the game, but it's a must if I don't want to be mashing buttons repeatedly to er while yelling, SPEAK FASTER YOU DOOFUS! Anyway, this is Professor Birch, but the first time my brother read the name, he thought it was Professor Bitch. So I am mostly going to call this guy Professor Bitch, of course. Because as you'll soon see, it's more than appropriate. Anyway, this is the traditional beginning of Pokemon game speech. Every single Pokemon game has them in the main series, at least. And okay, now he's gonna ask me my gender, and yeah, yep, my balls are still there. I just checked, so I'm a boy, and I'm going to be using the same name as usual, which is, I remind you, not my real name, but rather a shortened version of it. Get it from a radio announcer who's a complete jackass, but regardless. So, can we begin the game now? Well, maybe not, because as we see, the game starts with the biggest load of shit ever. I begin the game inside a moving truck with boxes. How do those boxes not go all over the place, even as the truck breaks? I want to see who's responsible for this. And it turns out who's responsible for this is my freaking mom. You're the worst fucking mom ever! You couldn't even afford to keep a seat for me in your car! No! You had to put your fucking Twilight novels on the seat! Fucking Twilight mom! It would have been a weird sight if she came and opened the back of the truck and I was completely buried in those boxes with every single bone in my body completely bruised. And first things first, I'm gonna check my uh, my trainer ID, see if it ends in one or six. Nope, so I'm going to have to reset until I get one or six. And there we go, it didn't take too much time. My trainer ID ends in six so I can get wiki berries from that one girl in Route 120 so I can evolve Feebas into my Lottic easier. And yes, I'm going to check out the, the furniture in the, the in the room and the Hoenn map is a lot more friendly than the ones in generations past. You can actually move the cursor around instead of just, you know, pressing up or down and you never know where you're gonna end up on the map just pressing up or down. And oh, there we go, there's a potion. That wasn't there in the last generation, but it was there in red. So let us set the clock now. So we are about, well, we're not quite 7 p.m. So we... This is so fucking long. This takes forever. Why couldn't they have done this the same way as in Gold, Silver, Crystal? Well, that's about the correct time. There we go. And, okay. How do you like your new room? Yeah. They finished moving everything in downstairs. Yeah, those Pokemon movers. They are Vigoroths in Emerald, but in Ruby and Sapphire, they were Machokes. Uh, some people have said that it was because... Oh, I'm gonna talk about this later, because we are watching uh, the end of a news flash. We don't know what the news flash is about. We only know that it was in front of Petalberg's gym, where my dad works. My dad is the gym leader of Petalberg in this game, which makes uh, Brandon here one of the rare RPG heroes with two parents! 
So yeah, those movers. Some people said that uh, they changed it to Vigoroth so that in Emerald it could be a Pokémon that's native to Hoenn. But since Macho, the power of science is staggering. The power of science is staggering. Get it right. It said technology is incredible. Technology is incredible. How could you do? How could you do it wrong? It's so easy. Everyone knows it. But as I was saying, since Machoke is in the Hoenn Dex, doesn't that make it native to Hoenn? And since it's in every regional Dex, well, it's native to every generation. So I, well, quite frankly, I don't know why they changed it. Maybe it was just for fun. Who knows? Maybe this one guy was doing Overworld Sprite and he didn't have enough uh, stuff to do. So they decided, oh, why not change? the Machokes for Vigoroth instead. So yeah, this is Professor Bitch's lab, and he's not there, he's on Route 101 doing field work. So we are going to drop by his house, and this is no doubt uh, Bitch's wife, and yeah, they got two kids in the house, the, the daughter, who is May, and I think that's another daughter over there, though with those sprites, it's a bit hard to tell, to be honest. So, let's see, maybe we're gonna have some indication if... Nope! We don't have a clue, at least in Fire Red and Leaf Green, the dialogue from males was blue, and from females it was red. And, we, well, we got the exact same clock, the exact same TV, GameCube but of a different color. But otherwise, the layout of my room and May's room is exactly identical. I can only take it that uh, it was designed by the same Vigoroth as before, because otherwise it would be a little bit creepy. Oh, no way am I stealing May's Pokeball. Come on, quit the chatter, I want to steal your Pokeball! But anyway, yes, this is the mandatory uh, in introduction of May, and she's uh, all... I, 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 I've already seen... No, I was about to say two occurrences, but three occurrences of her saying I, 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 May, 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 g -g 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 glad to see you! And I'm not uh, stealing that po 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 ticket ball, it s s seems. So, okay, I'm gonna stop stuttering for now, because, yeah, there are scary Pokemon outside, and they are making Professor Bitch their bitch. God damn, and it's a level 2 Zigzagoon, perhaps the least threatening thing in all of Hoenn, except for maybe a magic car, but otherwise it's a level 2 Zigzagoon. What is the danger? So we got the choice between Trico, Mudkip, but in the end, I am going to choose Torchic. As I've said several times before, I even use it in my crash test. So let's see how this first battle goes. As I said, it's against a level 2 Zigzagoon. I really wouldn't want to see Professor Bitch in jail because, well, okay, okay, I'm gonna stop calling him Professor Bitch. Though, as I said, it is eerily appropriate. And I think this is the first time I've seen that Zigzagoon use an Orin Berry before. I know they've got a rather low chance of carrying an Orin Berry, but yeah, this is the first time I've seen it carry it, so it's just gonna take a little longer to kill. It's not a level 5 Zigzagoon, so it's not as heated a battle as the first one against blue and red, blue and yellow. But Jesus H. Christ, what were you doing in the tall grass with your bag that contains your three Pokeballs far, far away from the tall grass? Can anyone become a professor these days? I, I know there's one real constant in those games, and that is that everyone is utterly incompetent. And okay, after a bit of a monologue, after how I am my father's son, he gives me the Torchic 
for no particular reason, even though it's an ultra-rare Pokémon that's, like, almost one of a kind in Hoenn, I'm not gonna see another one for the entire duration of the game, so I guess... He may be a prison bitch, but he's not a bad guy at all, especially since he's willing to part with an ultra-rare Pokémon.